first saw a screening of that film, down the street actually, I was so moved by the film, and more than anything, I was moved by the music. Because I thought, how did they know that this is how they felt? How did they know how they get into the interior lives of these characters? And I really felt punched in the gut. And it's something when you can translate that, especially I think into African American trauma and all the things that James Baldwin had desired to convey. And you can just, you can just listen and feel and let your soul go. And that's what you two gentlemen have done. And I'm so very proud to present the inaugural Harmony Award to composer Nicholas Patel yeah. and music supervisor David Supervisor 
and a collaboration between a music supervisor and a composer. It's an integral relationship that can really form close bond between two people and in, in trying to get Barry's vision onto the screen. I think Nick and I really found a cohesive way to work together and, and really just get a remarkable movie made. The music that Nick made is just nothing sort of brilliant for this movie. Um, Jeremy Kleiner and Dee Gardner called me initially and asked if I'd be interested in this, and I cut them off immediately and I said, yes, they're, don't even, you know, I don't need to know the schedule, I don't need to know anything else, just like, I, I want to be involved. And uh, it's just a dream come true to be like the third wheel with Nick and Barry. And, uh, and everybody else, I just want to thank out there, Kara, who put up with me working long hours and traveling to New York, and Season, who is the best business partner one could ask for. It's just a real privilege to be here, and I'm so proud to receive this with Nick, the honorary uh, the, uh, inaugural Harmony Award. Thank you very much, Asset.